Bless things my Afrocentric home decor and style channel. I'm exhausted, absolutely exhausted. So, uh, long day. But just a few things before I get off. I'm not going to stay on too long. I'll be home soon. I'm, uh, hold on. I'm going to, I got the couch. Okay, I didn't get the couch yet, but I paid for the couch. I paid for the five piece set. And yeah, the glass table is going to be a regular table. So that's going to be good. And uh, yeah, I, get, I went and bought the kente cloth. So I gave her the kente cloth. And uh, we all ready to go. So it's going to be happening. So I'm excited. I've been, I feel like I've been running for days. So let me see. Yeah, we did a lot. We did a lot. A lot of taxis back and forth. But oh, I bought this dress for me. Oh, it's over there, y'all. Wait till I show you. Let me see if you can see my dress for me. It's over there if you see my dress form. Yeah, that's I bought this. It's the natural comps. It's so excited. So now I can start really tearing some dresses up and putting it back together and just visualizing with the dress form. That's going to just help me know what I can and cannot do. So this is a new venture. I've never just, I mean, yes, okay, I did design a dress, but I just told her what I wanted. I didn't even sketch it. I told her where to start and where to go. But now I'm going to start sketching and also I'm going to start re re deconstructing and then re yeah, deconstructing uh, some of the garments that either it's not sewn right, didn't fit well. And there's quite, there's about a few of them. So we're going to change it up, y'all. And then, of course, I'm not going to do any sewing. I don't, I don't do that. I mean, I don't know how to do that. And I don't need to do that. If I, yeah. So anyway, that's happening, y'all. I'm exhausted. I'm trying not to get anybody else on. I'm so exhausted, y'all. I don't know what to do. But it was a great day. It was a beautiful day. It was a perfect day. Every day is perfect. I'm going to sleep like a baby. Tomorrow, uh, Cole Joe is going to a funeral with his mother. So... I'm going to meet, uh, me and Kwame's going to meet uh, his wife, Astina, at the market, uh, at her market where she works, and uh, we'll go shopping there, so. Okay, I shouldn't even got on, I'm too tired, but I just wanted to tell y'all, I already paid, well, I put my down payment on my sofa, I got it for an excellent price, so I'm very happy about that. Uh, what else did I do? I, I went and got the kente cloth, so now he can do it. He can do it all in kente cloth. I needed six more yards of kente cloth for the kitchen. The, no, the bedroom, other window. But she ran out of the kente, so I got to wait till she orders. But she said by next week. So uh, yeah, I got stuff to do. I'm just freaking exhausted. Okay. I'm exhausted. So, yeah, I just wanted to check in real quick. I, I'm actually, I want you to see what I did in the bedroom. Oh, yes, a couple of things I got to do right before I leave this place. So, I will do that. But, yeah, I want you to see what I did. So, I just wanted to check in. Hey, Sister Sublime Swan Manifesting. Hey, Tiffany Paz. How are you? Maha, Majo. Hi, and hey, beautiful hey, sis. Hey, Sheila. I like your hear me, Darcy. Thank you. This is Marie Faustina and the kids. Auntie Lisa. I know, Auntie Lisa. Yeah. Well, I actually, I always go to, the, every Saturday I go to Faustina's. Uh, that's where I go shopping. Every Saturday when Coach will come, gets me, gets, come to get me, that's what he does. He takes me to his wife because he, he works with her as well sometimes. So he takes me to his wife. And the children do there, but I'll be shopping with Faustina, so it'll be great. And uh, yeah, so I'll do, I'll do my regular. It's just that Kojo usually comes come and get me, but I'm gonna take the taxi. I'm gonna be with Kwame, so it'll be good. And I don't know what else I have to do tomorrow, but I need to sit. I need to talk to my web designer. Let me call her right now, and let's get this party started right. All right, y'all. Oh, I'm tired. And my bobby pins is now my hair. I need to take it out because it's feeling low. Bobby pins. My pins drive me nuts after a while, so I'm waiting for Kwame to finish me doing, which is doing something for me. And uh, I will see you when I get home and relaxed in my in, in my room. I want to show you a couple of things, and I want to show you how to uh, how the um, calabash looks. Uh, the calabash looks in the room. It's not cleaned up yet. We're gonna do that tomorrow. So Kwame will be here tomorrow. So. We can do that tomorrow. Oh my God, I want to show you this stuff. Kwame has to, oh, he's so sweet. He was like, look, we're gonna get you a tree book. So on the side of the road, there's a man that sells, a man, women, a lot of people, they sell the school books, y'all. 
Children's Guide to English to Tree. Isn't that wonderful? So, okay, so doesn't that look good? Oh, I see where this came from. The Gospel Am uh, Ambassadors Church. Okay, let me tell you why I say this. What's, what's, what's up with this? Okay, black kid, right? Africa, yes. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? I mean, look, this, this is so bold. Like, why would you put that for books to Africa? Wait, let me show you something else. This, this one really done. So I'm really gonna tear you up. I'll show you the pictures of that, and then I'm, you know, I'm gonna put this in a notebook and put some three hole punches in. So this, this is actually a great book. Check this out, y'all. Okay, we sending this to Africa. Now we know with this, I mean, why would you do that? This is for black children in Ghana, parts of the body. Why would you have that? Why do they go for that? Like that just bothers me. Especially this, okay, this is Bobby Line all the way. Like, this is bad. This is terrible, but I'm sure these are probably the, well, no, they're not even the producers. But that, to describe parts of the body, ooh, I know, isn't that Shandy? Uh, not yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, actually, it's cleaned out already and everything is packed. Everything is packed, too. But it's not, it's not set to uh, storage yet. Why, tell me, are you interested in some stuff? Because I'd love to help you out. Is that terrible? But the good part is, I'm gonna have to change the picture now. The good part is, let's talk, let's look at this, y'all. This is so great. So, yes, I know it's insane. Isn't it crazy? That is so, I mean, it's not like you don't know that it's from English to tree. It's not that you don't know. Look at that. How you like, wait, this is the black kid in front of that. This is an Asian, this is a Chinese uh, my, uh, building. Ah, uh, just and then look, I know that bothers me, y'all. I'm sorry, so wrong. So Alpha, okay, Alpha Burtz, okay, Alpha Burtz. That's what it says. It's, it's gonna be interesting that this is supposed to be the English. Wait a second, <laughs> did y'all just see that? Alpha Burtz, English. Okay, that's already scary. Okay, so this is okay, and that's I never knew Alpha Burtz. Maybe that's what it is. Okay. Was that terrible? So here's the English. Well, I know, Tony. Two stools. Oh, the two stools you want to know? But I, how, tell me, how would you get those? Tiffany, uh, in, Tiffany, email me at theblackberrybeauty at gmail.com and we'll talk so I can understand, know how you're going to get it. But this is the tree alphabet. Okay, there's obviously. This is the tree alphabet. Okay, so let's look at some words. And then this is the two letter two letter words. Oh, so go. Right, so go. In it at on. Okay, wait, I'm confused. So where's the tree version? Okay, I guess this is the English. Okay, so yeah. This one here is hold on one second. Let me take off this backpack. All right, so, but I love this. So I'm gonna get make sure I'm saying the words right because you see that symbol that's pronounced a certain way. But these are good stuff: dog, sheep, goat, rabbit, cat, cow, snake, lizard, wall, or gecko, crocodile. So this is great, and the note of yo, all the stuff that I actually see here. So none of this will be too off, which will be really great. And then here is the fruit, y'all. Yay. So I never knew. They just say, I never knew. I always say pineapple. I didn't even think, of course, there's tree words. Even though they say tomatoes, of course, they say it in English. And Tusi, Anka, Mako, Amango. I love this. I cannot wait. Yeah, poor, poor, but there's another word. It's the tree word. And Kruma. Oh, it's Oko. That's what they say, Oko. Apple, ah, uh, carrot. Anyway, as you can see, your girl's about to have, look at this, y'all. I'm about to have a good time with this. So, yes. Anyway, it's lots to show y'all, and I'll show you a little later. I'm hot, I'm sweaty.
and I'm ready to go. Now, it was hot today. Today was a little hotter than I thought the days have been. It was a lot hot, actually, but it's all good. I'm on my sixth water. This is, oh, no, I'm sorry. I, I, you know I'm tired. I don't drink this. Six waters. There we go. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, let me show you this video, and then I'm going to go. I promise I'll come back with a little more energy. I just need to go home, take off the dress. Let me show you this delicious. I like the delicious vegan cake. Oh, it's a chocolate cake. Vegan. <laughs> These are so good. They're chocolate. They call them, I guess, cake. And they are so delicious. And it's all vegan. That's for tonight. Munchies. Nah, just play. Just play. I ain't talking about no munchies with y'all. All right, ladies. Anyway, I love y'all. And I'll see y'all when I come home. I, I want to show you the room. It's a, little, it's a slight little differences, but I think it matters. And, you know, we are decorating. And y'all was like, when's she going to be decorating? And I am decorating. So the cheer... Everything will be there. He said he'll give us a call by Tuesday. But remember, it's a five piece set. So now I'm going to have a love seat for the living room. What? A love seat for. I'm going to have a love seat for the living room. I'm going to have a couch for my studio now. It's going to be complete. I can sit. My dress form is going to be in there. Now I can sit. I can do work. I can sketch. Oh my God, I got a coffee table so I can put my stuff my. Y'all, I'm ready now. Now you ain't gonna tell me that. That is my studio. That's where I'm gonna create. That's what I. This so is just a dream, y'all. It's a dream. And they have the furniture that I absolutely love. Y'all didn't see the set. Y'all saw that other set that I was gonna get. But it's interesting, cause no, I wasn't gonna get it. Actually, that was my second one. And I didn't want, I wanted the first one. And I got it. But you know what's so cool? I was just thinking about how. But when I went to the one that I showed you with the kente cloth, it was like a blessing that I went down to see him because that print was, I remember, we, we all fell in love with that print. Who knows if the couch set was even that nice? No, it was. But the print was great, the kente. Because you know, it's a lot of kente, but that is the kente I love. I love all kente, but that one was, I don't know, that one is the one when I think of kente, I think of kente. And I was so excited. So, yeah, so from that exact print, I took a picture of it and I brought it to the woman that I buy the fabric from. She was like, oh, yeah, I got the exact one. So now she ran out because I think I bought, I think I bought 12 yards before and that's for the curtains and then for the for the five piece set which is actually is only four pieces of the set that's going to have the kente it was I, I, we asked her we got the she only had 12 yards left y'all check this out when we go i go to the fabric store she only has 12 yards that's it of the kente i was like well you know what i think it's gonna work because we had asked the other guy who had the kente set originally we asked him how much how many yards would we need even though we wasn't gonna buy from him we asked him anyway he said 14. but i knew that the set that i'm getting was slightly different i said i think 12 would be good so when we got there we asked the guy how much okay you know put a down payment on the furniture and asked the, the brother how much would it how much cloth do you need to do the work you need to do he said 12 yards i was like that's exactly what we got here you go Oh, I was so happy. I was like, oh my gosh, she only had 12 yards. So he needed 12 yards. How dope is that? I love this set. This is my, oh my God, y'all. Okay, this is serious talk. Y'all, this is the first. Oh, that breeze feel good. First I was sweating. Now that breeze made me cold. But anyway, uh, this is real talk. This is the first set furniture I ever had. Set, this is my first set ever. I've never had set. I never had a two-piece set, let alone a three-piece, let alone for a five, I never had a five-piece set. This is my first furniture set. And a whole set of furniture in the States would cost so dang much money, right? Yeah, it was more, it was definitely more reasonable. I mean, it was, you know, not dirt cheap, but it was not, I mean, it was good price. So I am so excited, oh my God, I'm so excited, y'all. My first, y'all celebrate with me, y'all. My first five-piece furniture set. I can't believe I'm saying that at 52, but it really is. I've, never, I've had I had a couch, you've seen it, and another little sofa, love seat. None of them went together, and you know, none of them went together, so I'm just so excited. So anyway, you'll be seeing that. That's not coming in about Tuesday, Wednesday. And then uh, when you buy these things, 
usually the places have a, a truck right there and you can rent the truck and the truck rental will be like nothing 25 cds the most which is like five dollars seriously five dollars to have your stuff delivered to you i love ghana i love even the delivery they don't make that too expensive at all at all so I'm excited. So everything is good. Everything is great. And I uh, know some more things that I'm forgetting. So let me check my list and make sure we did everything we're supposed to do today. Because if we didn't, we'll have to come back and do it tomorrow. But I just wanted to say I'm so excited. I'm just so excited. And I'm just, I'm just i happy. Like, first time. I think I'm growing up. Okay, Tiffany, yes, make sure. Laugh out loud, homie says. It's all coming together. So exciting. Yes, yeah, so excited for you to read. Thank you. Yeah, yes. Felicidades. Thank you, Tiffany. You, doing, you, learn, you, you stay with your Spanish. I'm so proud. Of you, DJ Peace and Blessings is Lisa Marie. Hot here in Rockville, Illinois. Oh, who, oh, was it? Wow, says Tony. Yes, I'm so happy you love me, sis. Yes, y'all. I feel like a grown up. Blessings as wise men. I'm sorry, I forgot to keep you very, very interesting. I know, I know. Oh my god, let me just go back because let me just show you why this bothers me. This is let me tell you why it specifically bothers me. They know if they could put a black kid here, even though it's still in front of this damn thing right why couldn't they put one here I mean why would you have the children this is why it's interesting parts of the body even when you say here that's not our hair wait eyes that's not our eyes I mean that's was so mouth like what I, I got a problem with this like this is a rip I'm gonna have to change this dang picture around because I need the words I do need it I mean this is this is I need every one of these words I'm going to have to redesign this damn thing. Look at this. We got a problem here, y'all. I'm going to have to talk to these people. But look at all the words that I could have. So Nana, I remember before I was saying Nana is king or like Baba, but actually it's, it's a title for a man and a woman. I just wanted to say that. Nana by Rima and Nana Ba. Nana by Rima is grandfather. Nana Ba is grandmother. So... Well, this is crazy that they don't ask. Oh, here's the days of the week. So here's the day, Sunday. Uh, Kwasi, boy, girl, Akusia. Monday, Kwajo, Ajua. Tuesday, Kwabana and Abana. And Wednesday is Kwaku, or Kwaku rather, and Akua. Thursday is Ya, Ya, Yao, Yao, and Ya, Yao. I remember that one. Friday is Kofi and Afia. And it said it's Kwame and Ama. It's right there for your. And let's look at the days of the week. Sunday is Kwaziada. Monday is G. I mean, I know it's Ajua. Duwajua. Dujuada. Dujuada. Because W. D W is Juada. It's Juada. Juada. I remember. Because D W is J. Juada. Benada. Wukuada. Yao Ada, uh, Yao, no, Yao, yeah, Afiada, and Menanada. No, Mem, Menida. No, I think it's Nada. I gotta get that pronunciation right. Oh, I never knew the days. It's the months. So, Jan, okay, this is the months. And then I get, this is great. This is, this is like, with the, see, the children books are the best. What is your name? Wu Din Disen. I love it. And you say, my name is, which is uh, a free, you know, from me, from me. I know it's from me. Yeah, from me. So, Wolfram, me, John. So, Wolfram, I would say Wolfram, Lisa. And then, how old are you? And you answer back, where do you stay? I stay in Kanishi, which is not too far from me. Where do you come from? I come from the Cape Coast. What is the name of your father? What is the name of oh, This is great. This is stuff that, I mean... Bra, I know bra means come. Is that how you spell it? Yeah, come here. So braha, braha. I hear that a lot here. And then, uh, of course, you see, thank you is me, me, da, wo, I see. But we just say me, da, see is for short. And I love that. And then good morning, good morning. It's me, my, wo, I say. I mean, uh, my, che. Me, my, so, my, I, che. Well, it's not the ma, but you see, this is che. So remember, we were, so this is the proper way. The way we say, I say, and most people say, we breaking it down. But I love it. And yeah, that's right. Come, bra is come here. Sit down is 10, I say. Another way of sit down is, 
I can't remember. Sorry? No, sorry is stand up. Sit down is Tanasi. Yeah. Tanasi. Tanasi. I remember that. Okay, y'all. This is going to be good. So, you know, meet me in about a week or two. I'll be fluent. Nah, y'all know, know I'm playing. Oh, let's see what they got here. Do you see that on top? What is that? I mean, really, though? Really, though? I'm done. I'm done. But well, we already know that, but it's still, it's, yeah, subtle brainwashing for sure. Words and figures. Oh, yeah, the numbers, y'all. Abako, Mayanu. Okay, I got to learn all the numbers. It's going to be so much fun. Hey, we are, yes, Amore, we are. So I'm excited, y'all. This book is so thorough. So I pay, we pay five CDs. That's $1. Oh, this book is one U.S. dollar. So, and they got other children's books from English to Tree. So, but this is so thorough. One dollar. So, I have to study every day because Corey's going to make sure. And what's this about? They don't even care about where they're selling the stuff. This is ridiculous. Okay, I'm going to stop. Let me get over it. Okay, I'll see you all later. Let's see. Gracias. You're welcome, Donata. I think the book is geared to teach young people, maybe. Uh, um, maybe I didn't think about that. I mean, it's, it's sold here though, but I hear you. Great contents inside the book, though. Yes, great. Hey, we, hey, yeah, we live. So, I says, well, the book wouldn't really be from Ghanaians, it would be for foreign people. So, it kind of makes sense. But you know what? I agree that it's for foreign people. So, I guess you're thinking that I don't know, honey. I don't go for it. I mean, it's coming out of the church from Accra. Okay, so what what foreign people? I mean, this is from the Ivan Emmanuel. Okay, gospel. Okay, that's in Accra. So, if it's coming to Accra, it's for what foreign people? You mean the few little bit of foreign people that live here? Now, I'm just trying to figure this out. Like, I'm trying to be with you on this one, because I don't think so. Because if that, so, but you think it's for the, ch yeah, I'm sorry, I can't, girl, I'm trying, I'm trying to go there with you, but I don't know, I think it's deliberate, I think it's deliberate, I don't know, I don't know what to say, I'm just, I'm done, okay, yes, that's right, yeah, so they have other people in it, uh, okay, what the hell is that, the back, the back is, the back is horrible, yes, yeah, they got the conquerors, that's the conquerors right there. Man, that's straight conquerors. Uh, yes, uh, there's a lot of brainwash out there. So I know you. So it's so true. Those civilian pictures are very upsetting. Very. I I taught there. Oh, you did? Yeah, I know. I heard. So I laughed out loud. No surprise. I said I'm trying, girl. I I can't even go there. Hey, this is my song. That's my song right there. Okay, anyway, let me go listen to some tree. Okay, I love y'all, ladies. That's my song. I gotta ask for that. that, that, that who, oh, plus, let me get up because I might get, you know, taken down for that music. But yes, thank you, Maya. I love you. The book pick really, it sickens me. It makes me, I mean, I mean, okay, good. I think it was just me. I can't even rationalize it, y'all. Ooh, we're going to, yeah, I'll, don't worry. We'll, we'll decorate it, okay? I'd rather have Spider-Man all over the damn book. <laughs> like the guy who sold it to me. He said, but Spider-Man is black. I was like, oh, I didn't know. <laughs> and then when one of the sisters here, one of the family members was like, but guess what, though? The last one in the movie was black. See, I love that. I love that. That was so cool. <laughs> Yes, that's what I think positive vibes, that it's definitely paid for by the missions. It's a missionary thing. There's no doubt in my mind that it's a missionary thing for sure. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me go. Oh, oh, my God. Brainwash education to make us the food. Here is your reward for our love. Telling us of your God above. Them crazy. Them crazy. <laughs> All right, y'all. All right, y'all. I love y'all. I will see y'all in the next 
video. Yes. I know we need to stop this. The content is good, but I'm with you on my, what foreign people. I don't think, yes, I don't know about that either. And you know what? Y'all got to understand. Now, let's just break it down. There is a deliberate, a deliberate effort to make us hate ourselves, even here. I see the way they, I have to be the one question as well. Why we got this? Why is this black person on the thing? Like, y'all black. Like, y'all, it, mm. But you know what? Somebody says got something to do with it. There's a sister. I'm part of a, a Ghanaian uh, travel group. It's called Sisters. Oh, my God. Going to Ghana. Moving to Ghana. It's a great group. Oh, my God. So Facebook. I love this group. But there, she, she's always a sister herself and other African-Americans in Ghana are constantly doing forums and, you know, like podcasts. And one of the recent ones is talking about decolonizing the education system in Ghana and what can black Americans do to bring about, believe it or not, sad as it may have to sound in Ghana, to bring about black alternative schools yes they're talking about it how can we help there's a lot of teachers that come and move here and I know I taught at many of those schools how can we bring that kind of to Ghana because it's worse than what I'm seeing people say I could imagine going into the schools I wouldn't doubt that all the books and all the pictures are white or worse because China is the new white folks right so I wouldn't I, I would not be surprised so I'm, I'm gonna, I'm loving, I I'm, cannot wait to see how the new Ghana looks because I don't think, I think we, we ain't going for this. And like, it's not okay. Like, that's what I tell Kwame. They kind of look at it like, oh, no, what, the, what the big deal is. I said, it's a real big deal that we in a country, you say, do you know Ghana, he told me, has 25 million people. It matters. If 5 million was one, that would be, it ain't even that. I go all day and don't see one. So, I mean, it's a problem. And even though there's supposed to be a whole bunch of Chinese here, I'm, not, I'm just saying where they at, I only saw one. I saw two, I saw one the first time I came here, I saw one the other day. I'm not saying they now, I'm saying we still the majority. So, yeah, it's just so sad, that, but it's okay. It's okay, it's okay, y'all. Okay, all right, y'all, I'll talk to you a little later. I love you, and I'll see y'all in the next video because this man is coming. Yeah, now that's interesting. Let's talk about that. Leroy Lanes, I heard that. People, okay, now, let me just say, in Ghana specifically, did you hear Ghana specifically? Because I haven't seen it off the chain yet. I see it here and there, but I don't know. Maybe I'm not, I don't know. I, I, Y'all, the blackness overwhelms. I mean, oh, it, 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 it just, I, it could be off the chain, Leroy. I don't know. The only thing I can tell you from being here, I've seen it here and there. Did I see it off the chain? Like, I didn't see it like that. I still don't see it like that. Now, maybe it is. I probably need, maybe I need to get out more. Like, I just, I think that the amount of chocolate people is so amazing and so many that I don't see. But when you do see it, you see it. It look, it look very, and so, sometimes they do the face, maybe they don't have enough, and the body be, yeah, that's a sight, because the rest of the body ain't caught up in the face. Be, and you know, that stuff mess up your skin, and, and it's deep because they're beautiful in their natural color. They actually go look ugly. Isn't that amazing? We're trying to be like somebody else, and we're actually looking ugly than pretty. That's not pretty. That jacks up their skin. You, When you see it, you know it. But I, have, I can't say I've seen it a lot, so I just want to say I'm real. Like, if I did, I promise I would tell y'all. We need to come in our, in our millions. This is true positive vibes. We will make progress. Yes, ma'am. That's they're right. That's sad. Yes. Do you see the advertisements for skin whitening? I, I've never seen any. I mean, I'm not saying they don't exist. I'm just saying I, I've never seen them. Yes, Ghana was one of the first countries to be colonized. Yes, this is true. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Hey, Tanisha, I'm beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I... Uh, I can't say that I've seen advertisements for bleaching. I'm not saying I don't, don't exist. I'm, I ain't seen it. And I'd be looking around things, so I've never. Let me tell you what I see. All of that, that's so weird. And they even say, you know, call him God. It's the white Jesus. And it ain't like it's, somebody said, God is, I remember God has said 20 years ago was off the chain. There was big billboards. They don't have it like that as much. But he's, they got him on the, on the trotros and, it's just on a, on a taxi sometimes. I think that's the widest thing I see. And that's that's a problem, too. That's a problem that they accept that that's their God. A white man. I mean, damn it, you know. So uh, that's the only thing. Like, I, a whole bunch of rampant bleaching. I, again, I'm not saying it doesn't exist. 
I'm saying that I don't see it. What I see mostly is chocolate, 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 chocolate people. I, I, I mean, when I do see that, you know, I look. You see, number one, when I'm walking and I see somebody even a little brown, I do look to, to see if that's natural or, or is it, you know, are they bleached? Sometimes it's natural, sometimes they bleach it. Now, I will say this too, again, when they bleach, because I guess they're so dark to begin with, I never see them, they don't get that light. They can get this brown color. I think that, you know, that's not, you think about how dark the people are here and how many layers, how long would it take to get rid of that melanin and, and that deep color? I, and so they get a little brown, and it look horrible because you could tell they must have took a lot to get there. Like I, I mean, it's not pretty. It's not even a pretty sight. Y'all know it's not pretty. So I, I, I don't know if they, I don't know if they, if there's a limit that they could even get to. I'm just saying like that. I didn't notice real well. Like I noticed if they doing it, they take them to a brown, and it ain't pretty one because it's just yuck. But it's what a thing. Poor babies, I feel for them. We, it's, you know what? I'm gonna say honestly, it's not their fault. It's not their fault. They watch, uh, they watch uh, these dubbed TV a lot, and they get TV from everywhere. They get TV from India. They get TV from Europe, of course. I do notice that. I notice that they watch a lot of TV that don't really look like them. I do see that in the nails. I mean, the hair salons and. You know, today, dog was in the vegan place, remember y'all? And I, they was ahead of soap operas. I know soap operas when I see them. It was definitely a soap opera feel, but it was all black. And at the same time, you know, I was happy that it was all black soap opera. At the same time, even like Kwame talk about why people fill their heads with that nonsense. Yeah, it's nonsense, you're right. So, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, you know, there's no place in the world perfect, but I don't know, for me, this is pretty damn perfect. I would rather, especially in Ghana, that's why I'm just telling you to, like, focus on the good, because I think it out, it outweighs the bad. I, I can't say, now, if it's rampant here, I need to go find out all these people that's bleaching. I seen random people here and there. If y'all walk down this street and you see these, it's a sea of, of, Sometimes the black is so black, it just, it makes you want to cry because you just like, I want to be that black. I mean, like the black be black and silky and and that's most of them. So, yeah, like I said, I, I, I'm dark now and I'm, I, I consider myself very dark. But I think I got a little more, maybe a little more red in my skin and they got a little more blue in theirs and I... I don't know. I don't know if I can sit in the sun long enough to get that that beautiful chocolate that they are. And then remember, we got people coming from all over. We got Nigerians. We got people from Togo. We got people from Cote d'Ivoire. We got people from all over the Benin. We got people from Guinea-Bissau. So you just the different ethnic groups. And, oh. You know, and I laugh. Now, I'm going to say something. You know, a lot of them will say to me, oh, you're from the States. I swear, this is the first. Take me with you, please. It's a lot. Especially the girls, the ladies, the young women will say it more. And I look at some of them because some of them as black as night, like beautiful. You know, they wear their short hair. And I think about, they don't know how much hell they would catch coming there. And the sad part is, unfortunately, it's not even from white, just white folks. They gonna catch hell from us. It's amazing that that color, when we come to the States, is so teased. I mean, I was teased, burnt toes, black toes, this, that. Can you imagine a, a Ghanaian or some other West African? They went through hell in the States. We don't have, we don't do well with that skin. Like we don't, I don't know. Like I, I want to say, I'm sitting here talking about the ignorance of the books, but I had to think about it today when I was really thinking about us looking at all this beautiful darkness. And I was thinking, damn, they, and they got to go to school. Their kids, they wouldn't make it. They would get teased so bad. And let's, listen, y'all, if we're going to put their stuff out, we need to put ours. That's a problem. And a lot of Africans said they came and it was called every black, ugly thing in the world because their skin was so dark. They would get, I know it, I, I, I taught kids and I saw how they called the black one. They called me the black one, the black one, that black one. Like it was not a good word, that black one. Like it was bad, I could imagine. So we gotta kinda look at ourselves too. In all fairness, we gotta clean our own backyards.
because y'all know good and well when them super black Africans come to the states, especially the kids, they get they get oh they get teased so bad. And I was thinking about that. I was like, wow, the self hatred is bad. We got it too. Like there's no way. I I almost let me just say this. I think we got it way worse. I think we got it way worse. I don't hear them refer to it. How could they? They be talking about themselves. You black? Uh, well, oh. I mean, who could they call black? Like, I mean, it, it's so ridiculous because they couldn't. They all, you know, pretty dark. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. And I do sometimes, you know, the blackest little pretty girls come to me and be like, oh, take me back. I just look and go, oh, baby, you, you, you wouldn't even understand that kind of calling you all kinds of names. They wouldn't know it because... Okay, with your black cell, they probably be like, and hey, well, aren't you black too? Like, I think it would confuse them, and I think it would be very hard. So, it's everywhere. I think that the states really, I don't know what we're saying, because I think the states got it worse. I do, I'll say it again. I mean, we wear lighter makeup. We got filters behind all our videos. We got lighting. We got everything to make us not be the color that we are. We got the lightest bride. We got the most beautiful women are so-called biracial. Y'all know it's true. We got colorism to the nth degree because I think we have more variation of color so we can have it. Here, I think they got it too now. I think that the browner girls are, might might be more high. I don't really don't know because no, I can't say that. Every brother I know like they sisters. So, and the sisters that are lighter, I think I don't know if, what, if the colorism is here is bad, but I would suspect that there is colorism because I do notice that sometimes on the on TV I see that little lighter thing going on when you look around the people and you go, they don't really represent, but okay, you know, it's okay, but. And I remember, yeah, so I, I think we, yeah, we got our own issues on that one. Like, I, I'm going to say it's worse. That's why I tell all my sisters that's feeling that, that might be feeling like, you know, you just like, you don't love yourself or nobody thinks you're beautiful or nobody looks up. Hmm, come to Ghana. Come to Ghana. You, you get over that in a minute. As a matter of fact, I mean, I keep saying it, I mean, it's the freest place I've ever been. Every black country I go to, I'm treated better. I'm, I, I get lots of respect. My dark skin actually is kind of like a passport. They make, they, they feel like they, you okay. Now you gotta, you gotta mess up not to be okay, but at least they trust that darkness. And in the States, it's a whole nother thing. It's a whole, and I've, I've been to a lot of countries where with black folks, and I'm telling you, it's, it's some about the trust that they believe. The other one, sometimes they, it's a lot of other stuff. So I, I think we got we got the worst colorism I I've ever been. It's I see it here. So I see it there, and I see. I mean, I guess it's here too. But so yeah, I just wanted to say I guess we gotta look at ourselves, huh? So let's see. Yes. So yeah, not a lot. Okay, hi, hello, how are you? Good, I'm good, Tanisha. So, yeah, shake my head, yes, the bun, wow. Do you see more natural or fake? Oh, yes. natural all the way, all the way. If you wanna talk about fake here, then talk about this as extensions. Other than that, natural. I really even see a perm. I really, even, I, and if they got a lot of weaves, maybe it's the richer women that I don't, I wouldn't see them, because I heard the rich women don't shop at the marketplace, they send their girls. And maybe they don't go, I really see it. I, everybody mostly got naturals. Everybody. I mean, that, I mean, that's just the truth. Or extensions, which is still cornrows or braids. I've not seen a lot of fake hair. No, I didn't see that at all. Now, I'm not saying that there might not be a nightlife and the young people or maybe the people that go to work. I didn't even see the people that go to work. I think I see a few people with wigs. And I mean, it was a few. I, I, no, I didn't see that as a big thing. I didn't see that at all. Right, wow. Do you, yes, they look like glow in the dark, literally. Oh, yeah, they're beautiful. Uh, blue, black is, is so beautiful. Isn't it Leroy Lanes? It's so beautiful. That melon is a gift, yes. I would love to have that blue. I'm me too, Shondi. And I'm, I never thought, I mean, I'm dark, but it's the difference. That melon, yes, Tony. When I was in Africa, the young girls prayed on the old wrinkle. <laughs> I think they still do that now. Now that, I do think they do. That's a shame, it's true. But then, you know, 
People ain't got enough to eat. This is what, this is what happens. Shawnee says, that's true. Yes, colorism. Yes, we are the worst ones. Yes. Very sad indeed. I was also teased for being a little lighter than some. We are, we all can be our own worst enemy. This is true. You are right, Lisa. Maya says, yes, the whole world has been colonized. It's sad. My hope is that we all realize our natural beauty. Yes. Yeah, in Brazil, they trust the black skin too. Yes. Distracted with work. That is why I can engage with video. Oh, that's okay. They don't know, like many or most of us here don't know the power of our carbon skin. But you know what? I think that they, see, I don't, maybe it's me. I don't see them hating themselves. See, I, I, I don't get that. I don't see that at all like I see it in our country, in the country that I used to live in. I, I don't see it. Now you ask me real questions that I, I don't see extreme amount of, of, of bleaching. I mean, I'm sure it exists. I just don't, I'm, that's some Chinese-ish right there, okay? So I, I think that they like themselves. I think they marry each other, have pretty babies. I mean, I remember in the state, I remember people used to tell me two dark people shouldn't get together because they're gonna have black babies. I mean, this is stuff I heard, but here, clearly, dogs and people are coming together. I mean, that's their choices. I mean, so it's already different. No, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like, if you're looking for Africa to be like America, I just don't think it is. I think the energy is in them just the way they are. So natural hair, beautiful skin, uh, they ain't too made up, and it's hot out here, very natural, and natural in general. Let's face the women with their hair short. The, all the kids got the girls got their hair short, but the women with their hair short too. So I mean, it's a, it's kind of deep. Like I think, like I said, I, I'm gonna say this for the brothers, all you brothers that love natural women, like like even no eyeliner, no lipstick, you will love Ga you will love Ghanaian women, and the ones that that here, the Black Americans, that's what they marry. If you don't like all that and all this, you should come to Ghana. Cause you won't get, I mean, from, you know, I, we, you know, we like to do our little thing. I mean, they do too, like when they go out, but very natural. Natural is the name of the game. And I love it. I do. Good, good place, y'all. Calm, calm. Don't, don't, and watch our story of it. Oh, they so brainwashed over there. Especially if we've never been. If we've been, that's okay. You got an opinion. But if you've never been, if you keep repeating that, it's because people don't want you to come. It's because people don't want you to really see how good you're going to feel how much love that you're gonna get. So it's not the same. It can't be. It's the beginning of civilization, something stuck. And like I said, we could be, a, we, let's be an example because like today, I mean, this the, I buy my fabric from the sister in the fabric store. She said to me, she was like, you, you wear no African clothes like nobody else. She said, you be wearing it. Like they appreciate it. They appreciate it to the point it stops on the street. It's a big deal. Like, look at this woman right here. Princess, Mama Africa, all of this in Africa. Don't worry, y'all. We got something to give to. And so give our love and our pride for who we are. It's a blessing. Yes. Color girls. Yes. Uh, they don't know. Yes, well, that's different. When I last flew to Ghana, I called it, oh, no, was it Korea Airlines because there were so many. Oh, well, no, 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 Taliba, you said when you flew into Ghana, right? So that means where were the people coming from? Were they coming from the same places you were? Now, you asked me what the Ghanaians that come from abroad. Okay, that's a whole nother story. That's a whole nother story. So you saying when you flew in, so when you flew in, you said I was last flew to Ghana, I called the Korean airline. Okay, so you're talking about the airline. I'm not talking about the ones that come in. I thought, I thought somebody was asking me about the ones that's here. Now, when you got to leave it, when you got to Ghana, did you, did you feel like you saw more wigs than natural here? I mean, I really want to know, because I'm here now and I'm not seeing it. So, and the plane, I didn't even know if the women did. You know what, I was so taken by just being on the plane. I, I don't know if I even noticed what the hair, they hair was. But I wasn't, I'm not saying I'm not considering them. They going, they going back and forth, they live abroad. That's a whole nother mentality. But when it, I think coming here, I didn't see it. So what happened when you landed? That's what I want to know. Color Girls 2 comes on, on tonight, on tomorrow. I haven't seen the first, oh, okay. 
Yeah, Ghanaian women can rock the low for so sexy. Isn't it sexy and beautiful? I'm so glad, Lisa, that it makes me happy that comes in. No, I didn't see it prevalent. Like I said, I'm, I may resist. I, I will find out. Uh, they were coming home to Ghana. Yeah, there you go. See, I, you can't even count them. That's instead of evil of America. No more natural here on the ground. Oh, no. Yes, of course. Okay, good. Yes. Not the ones going. No, the ones going, they've been with us. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's the same kind of brainwashing. We're coming. Yes, on me. Right? Because we were taught to hate ourselves. So truly, we need a soul detox. I love that soul detox. When I served in the military, a friend of mine, beautiful dog brother, but he said to me, you are beautiful, but I would never marry a woman of your complexion because I don't want my children to be dark. Oh, that's terrible, huh? And I ran into that a lot with brothers in service. Wow. So sad and so sad to say it, too. Yeah, that's, just, that's sick, isn't it? Yeah, well, honey, let me just tell you. Everybody want to marry y'all if y'all can. Okay. They, 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 black women are beautiful. And they, and they want, they like that. A lot of them might go with the other side, but I'm going to be honest with you. It be a money thing. A lot of that be about the money. They be using the women. I'm not even going straight up. I mean... I'm not saying they not brainwash either, but they brainwash enough to know who got the money and who don't. So they love to come you. You got money and you and you black. They be happy with you. All right. Anyway, let me go. Cause why are we waiting for me, y'all? I love you. Is it really how we are devalued? It is really right. But don't worry, that's just there. Come here, girl. You won't feel that. You won't feel devalued. You'll feel very valued. Yeah. But let me go because he's looking at me. All right, y'all. I'll see you when I get home. Love you, ladies. Nice conversation. Are they wearing locks? When I was there, they sat on the crazy people. Uh, yes. Um, uh, there's rosters here. Uh, and there's actually, I think they got lock extensions, but I've actually seen a few women with locks. And if they got a place, I saw a salon that only do locks. So there you go. So uh, I think that changed. So yeah, but I mean, I don't think overall the women are. I think, the, let me tell you the styles of the women that I see. I'm looking now. Short here, because it's hot as hell. Uh, or ex braid extensions. Or they hair, regular hair braided. I, I mean, locks, I mean, I, don't, I think if you had it, they just call you Rasta. So, girl, but I hear you, everybody got a way of looking at it. You know what, I, I realize now when I listen to you to the book, I realize that I guess it's all about perception and that the idea of Africa and uh, it's going to feel different to different people. Like, I could see that because I'm talking to you. I never got none of that. Like, I never oh, felt oh. that to ask or I never had nobody say those things. Like, I never experienced that. So, I don't, I, that's very interesting. Like, I, I, I mean, I, I almost find it hard to believe that you came here and didn't, wasn't, oh, wasn't totally sat, totally taken by the amount of blackness here. The amount of naturalness, the amount of beauty. Like, I, 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 it's interesting the things that you took from it. And that's okay, because that's your experience, and you should definitely have that. But I, you made me realize that I may be telling you something that, if, depending on where your mindset is, some people are angry with Africa. Some people really think they sold us. So they're coming in angry. I mean, I hear things all the time where somebody say, well, Africa says, come, somebody, somebody will say, well, the, the minister of tourism told Africa, told African-Americans to come. And in the, in them live stream, I mean, in them threads on Facebook, yeah, well, they ain't sending no plane tickets. Yeah, well, they the ones that sold us. Well, they making it hard. Like, it's all, it's like, and I go, oh, my God, African-Americans are angry with Africa. And so if you come with that attitude, I'm going to tell you that you're going to probably find all of that. I, maybe I don't know why that don't, I don't have those, like, I don't know, just, I don't see a lot of that, so like, maybe it's me, I mean, maybe I'm just, a, I don't think I'm an exception, because I know a lot of people come here and actually stay, and they stay for that reason, but I, I, I can really see now it's a, it's each person is different how they're seeing it, so, peace, oh um, yes, there's an A, A, Leroy, keep going, I can't hear it, but African American, oh, I don't know. Uh, in the Gambia who was angry. Oh, I heard about her. 
I heard about her. Some is a sister? Yeah, I heard about her. Somebody else told me. I didn't know. I don't even watch. I'm so glad I'm not gonna watch it. I'm not gonna watch. I don't know. Yeah, sad. Yes. So yeah, so I'm not really looking. I mean, like, I mean, there's just look, I mean, there's rosters here, y'all. Like, I mean lots. Not only is there rosters, I mean Ghanaian rosters. Uh, I find that the people think rosters are cool here, as a matter of fact. Yeah. That's right. Okay, Taliba, thank you for saying that. It's good to know you had that experience. But I want to say, I go back to the lines. No, they, I feel like they love Rasta and reggae more than their own culture sometimes. Now, it, it's, it's so prevalent, and that's a beautiful thing. Rasta changes things, and I respect Rasta for that. They be loving that Rasta. Like, they love it. Like, I mean, so locks, oh, yeah, that thing, they think it's so cool, to be honest. So that's what I'm finding. So I'm trying to get the I'm trying to get some Ghanaian up in here. I I get all the Rasta. <laughs> but anyway, I'll see you later. I love you ladies. And we'll talk uh when I get home. See you in the next video. Peace.